schools, colleges, and universities. The NASCU, our game at hand, we have the Our Lady of Fatima Phoenix in green versus the City University of Pasay Eagles. And jumping at center court, we have Lurvin Flores. And we are underway. First stop is won by the Eagles, Eric Sarmiento to Chano Peña Redondo. Eagles right now, they have two wins and six losses. The Phoenix, they have six wins and two losses. So, uh, De Vega now dumping it to Peña Redondo, gives it back to De Vega, and De Vega draws the... He has uh, the moves, and he hits the air ball. You know, uh, Kenneth De Vega has, like I said, he has the size, so he has to, you know, assert himself underneath. He is one of the taller players in this league. And a steal completed by the Eagles. Sarmiento, no. So Moraga quickly to Hornashon. Hornashon. Ah, uh, Hornashon saw the opening. Two points, first field goal by Romil Hornashon. He played 40 seconds. The Phoenix on top, 2-1 to one early. Peña Redondo. Okay, Elise driving against uh, defenders. Moraga with the rebound. Moraga to Flores. Flores reverse. Too strong. Okay, Gio Ramos will uh, do the point guard chores. And the steal is uh, completed. Corner shot will bring it up. Okay, Horner Sean will look for a teammate. He, he gives it to Flores. Flores, kick out. Moraga. Moraga will fire with 10 seconds on the shot clock. And Moraga, clean as a whistle. Two points. So, 4 to 1 now. The Phoenix are slowly building their lead. Foul on. Okay, Peña Redondo. He looks for a teammate. Ask for some movement. Ball still with Peña Redondo. Now to De Vega. De Vega drawing the uh, double to uh, Peña Redondo. Short. De Vega. Seven on the shot clock. And De Vega. First field goal for the Eagles. De Vega has all three points of the Eagles. Tatu quickly to Maliari. And JJ Maliari. P. Extends the lead a bit for the Phoenix. Of course, we are early. 7 and 28 left in the first period. Glad you could join us. I hope you enjoy watching this game as much as we enjoy bringing it to you. De Vega, kick out. Sarmiento, 7 on the shot clock. Ramos has to fire. Ramos with a three-point shot. And that's what they missed from Gio Ramos. So Gio Ramos did not play for five straight games. And now Gio Ramos is back. With a plumb. They steal the ball. Our score is tied at 6 all after that triple by Gio Ramos. Ramos now with the ball. And what a welcome uh, development to have Gio Ramos back. He is guarded by the much taller Romil Hornachon. Okay, one on one play, and he traveled. That's Edgar Arisa with the traveling call. He slipped. Moraga quickly now to Flores, and it's too strong. That pass had no hope. Okay, now baseline inbound. It goes to uh, Sarmiento, who will fire a three. No, ball tap. Goes back to Sarmiento, fresh 24 for the Eagles. Peña Redondo to Elise. Elisa now using the Vega screen, but a steal by Flores. Flores all alone. Flores will slam. Well, uh, sort of. It's still two points for Lurvin Flores. So eight to six. Go ahead, basket there by Flores. And look at the defense of the Phoenix. Steal by Moraga. They have the numbers. Back pass to Datu. It was a three-on-one break. 
Well, Moraga could have easily, you know, taken the 5 minutes and 42 seconds left. We'll be back with this ball game. You're watching the 14th Nasku. Yes, yes, it's called a semi dunk. So now at the line is uh, John Rovin Datu, who was fouled on the fast break. And he makes his first free throw. So he extends the lead of the Phoenix 9 to 6. Well, earlier, uh, Marvin Moraga, no, very unselfish in setting up uh, Datu. And Moraga is there. Oh, could not control it. It's now with the Eagles. Uh, that's the thing about a good point guard. You know, sometimes you sacrifice your own personal statistics for your teammates. Oh, baby shot by Sarmiento. He gets his own miss. And Sarmiento with another basket. Flores to Maliali from 15 feet. No, Flores gets the air ball. And Flores with four points. So Flores is very active today on the, on the offensive end. Uh, you can say a good game. One of the better games today for Flores. De Vega faking. Hook shot is an air ball. Maliari with the rebound. Quickly to Hornashon. Hornashon. What will he do? He finds Moraga. Moraga underneath. No. Flores has it. Flores will fire. And six points for Lurvin Flores. I think this is his best game so far this season. Well, of course, the law of averages, so every player will have his chance at the career game. And probably today, the stars are shining on Lurvin Flores. Telpo is in the game. Peña Redondo spinning. No. Sarmiento rebound quickly. Ramos for three. He hit one earlier. And that's two three-point three shots for Gio Ramos. He has six points. Flores, count the basket. Eight points now for Lurvin Flores. Well, it seems it's going to be a five-man substitution because Agent Gagliardo is still at the scorer's table and he's, I believe he will replace Flores after uh, this free throw. Yes, and a much-deserved rest for Lurvin Flores. Whoa. Eight, uh, I think that uh, nine points? Nine points for Lurvin Flores. Yes, yes. Nine of the 16 of the Phoenix. So a fresh fire. Uh, Miguel Cabrera and uh, Hector De Los Santos. Telpo hooks a pass. Oh, too deep underneath is uh, James Solelo. And he draws the foul. It's on uh, number seven. Eight at the line is James Solero. It seems that Solero has been on a slump lately. Solero has had his moments this season. And an air ball by Solero. So second uh, chance now for the rookie, James Solero. So there's several rookies on this year for the Eagles of Coach Benedict Martin. All right, well, they cross the timeline in time. Yes, De Los Santos has it. De Los Santos, aggressive move, but Gallardo's there to pick up the uh, offensive rebound. What gives? Ooh, we have a uh, eagle. Double black eye there for Solero. Gets the foul plus the uh, hit on the face. But uh, Gall Gallardo, unable to make his first free throw. They are still on top, 16 to 12. Second free throw coming is good for Gallardo. It's now a five point lead for the Phoenix, 17 to 12. And Pineda taps the ball away. It will stay. Of course, when you say Paul John Pineda, first thing that comes to mind, he is a good shooter. Peña Redondo driving, stopping. Shot is no good. Rebound, it's with Marquez. Marquez. We'll ask for a point guard. Okay, Cabrera now. Back to Marquez. Marquez to, uh, let's see, Gallardo. Back to Marquez. And they move the ball around, hoping to confuse the opposition. Marquez to, uh, let's see. Oh, Mar Gallardo. Kick out. Marquez with four seconds on the shot clock. No. And rebound is with the Eagles. 
Peña Redondo is met by Cabrera. Ramos. And a foul. Oh, and a Fidel Cabrera. Marquez. Oh, great pass. Great recognition by Joseph Marquez. Seeing the open, uh, Adrian Gallardo. And the Eagles throw the for the Eagles, but with much more beef and muscle with the entry of Aquino. And also more scoring sock. Miscommunication. Ball will. Oh, great defense. Great defense. And Pineda. Oh, Pineda could not control. But I'd be happy with the intensity being shown by the Phoenix. And look at that. The intensity continues. 21 seconds on. Try to set up a new play. Oh, long pass. And it will stay, luckily, with the... Okay. Kick out. Telpo. Telpo, no. And Marquez with the rebound. Quickly to Cabrera. Cabrera on overdrive to Pineda. 4-3. No. Rebound, Eagles. It's with Sarmiento. Sarmiento. Sarmiento is a one-man fast break. And he gets the foul on the way to the hoop. Sarmiento, if they want to uh, last long in this contest, first Peter is good for Eric Sarmiento. Yes, Eric Sarmiento, now one of the barometers of this team. Now, a good game from Sarmiento will usually translate into a good overall performance by the team. And it's the other way around. Now, a poor performance from Sarmiento will mean uh, no trouble for the Eagles as Marquez slices the lane. Gets two points plus the foul. Joseph Marquez. He misses. And a rebound by Aquino. Gives it to Peña Redondo. Back to Aquino. Oh, steal by De Los Santos. But De Los Santos uh, got it. Foul by Hector De Los Santos. First free throw on the way is good. Six points is the lead now of the Phoenix. Missed there by Elise. 21-15, our score remains. Okay, Marquez. To Cabrera. Pineda. And Pineda gets it back. 10 on the shot clock. Ball is loose. Pineda picks it up. To Cabrera. Oh, what a shot there. And Gallardo ends the madness with the easy two. Okay, make that 23 to 15, an eight point lead for the Phoenix. Sarmiento skies, no, too strong. Marquez, okay, De Los Santos. What will De Los Santos do? And De Los Santos with the breakaway layup. You know, I believe that, you know. Oh, check that. It's a, uh, he did not make the shot. So it's two free throws for Hector De Los Santos. Wait. So one more. Oh, yeah, he made it. He made the shot. Yeah, so that's a bonus. An unsportsmanlike foul called on the Eagles. And so the uh, Phoenix will keep possession. Okay, okay. Uh, we'll, uh, that, our mistake, our mistake. So it's a three-point play. For Hector De Los Santos, an unsportsmanlike foul and ball possession for the Phoenix. 13 under shot clock. Cabrera draws the double. Somebody has to be open. It's Pineda all day to shoot. Too strong and the rebound. Quickly to Telpo. Peña Redondo with the breakaway. Peña Redondo trying to break the game clock. No. Sarmiento. Will it count? No. So after... Uh, the end of the first period, we have the Our Lady of Fatima Phoenix on top of the City University of Pasay Eagles, 26 to 15. 11 points is the lead of the Phoenix. We'll be back with the second period. You won't want to miss that. You're watching the 14th NASCU right here, right now. We'll be back. Not about the defense of Pasay. I, I believe that Pasay should tighten up on defense like what they are doing right now. 
No, they cannot just allow the Phoenix. Hey, that the Phoenix are on course to score a hundred points, and a uh, hundred points is uh, too much. No, you should limit your opponent to probably eighty points at the most. Okay, Solero driving. No good, and Matt Villalon in the ball game together with Dexter Rosales, Terence Matignas, and Benji Jimenez. And uh, let me see, another new player, John Allen Cruz. So again, Coach Ralph Rivera with a playing time. But let's see uh, how long will this strategy of Coach Rivera work. Uh, we have a lot of basketball ahead of us, so a lot can happen. Steal by Cruz, and Cruz is clipped. They're stopping the potential fast break. It's just the first foul of the Eagles. Cruz with possession gives it to Dexter Rosales. Rosales now to uh, okay Rosales still. They oh steal by uh, the Eagles. Lizardo waits for his teammates. Teammates are a little slow getting down here. Sarmiento and Sarmiento with two points. Cruz finds the opening and Cruz with the layup. Where's the defense? Okay, Sarmiento. Cross court, Telpo gives it back to uh, Elise. Sarmiento receiving against Villalon. Sarmiento. Missing again. Rebound, Benji Jimenez. Cruz faking, bounce pass, Jimenez from 15 feet, no good. Telpo. Elise. And Sarmiento is denied once more. Ball batted out, it will stay with the Phoenix. So 16 players now being utilized by uh, the Phoenix. They throw the ball away. Peña Redondo being guarded by Del Rosario. It will be bad. Martin has up his sleeve with this small lineup. Who knows? It might be the it might be the key. Okay, Cruz. This shot to Villalon. No good, Jimenez fighting for it. Who has it? It's with Cruz. Del Rosario receiving. Del Rosario driving and Del Rosario is hacked. He uh, prepares for his first free throw and it's good. Not bad for a guy who is uh, fresh off the bench. 19 to 17. Missed there by Del Rosario. Rebound to Aldrin Telpo. He is the captain of the Eagles. Telpo skying. No. Rebound. Controlled by the Phoenix. It's with Jimenez. Gives it to uh, Rosales for better handling. And look at. Oh! Bodies all over the court. And an unsports bumped uh, the uh, Eagle player, the uh, Pasay player. Jimenez is a big guy, but that will definitely hurt. So Sarmiento, uh, Benji Jimenez. But again, they, they will learn from their mistakes, uh, these players. And because of that, you know, the uh, Eagles are closing in. And they have a chance to uh, further close in with this possession. Probably cut the uh, deficit to less than 10 points after a long while. Telpo being guarded by Rosales. Telpo. And the pass sails out. Period. As a member of the starting five. I believe that this is season high. Rosales to Del Rosario. And Del Rosario is fouled. Dexter Rosales. To John Allen Cruz. Del Rosario from three. No. Rebound. Pass it's quickly now Padilla to Elise. Will try his luck from three. Yes! 
Lead now is down to seven. The Phoenix, they must not panic. Del Rosario. To Rosales. Back to Del Rosario. Flores at the post. Against the much smaller defenders. And he loses control. Four on the shot clock. They have to fire. Rosales knows it. Rosales. It hit the rim. Which was... Uh, a cool customer. He was very composed. But I guess, uh, you know, people have their limits. So Dexter Rosales uh, completing this uh, trip to the line for the technical free throws. Okay, Rosales will continue to man the point. It's with Cruz, Del Rosario to Flores. Flores, oh, it's so... Uh, there's poor spacing there by the Phoenix causing that uh, turnover. And Padilla! Oh! Caught the basket plus the foul for Kedubin Padilla. Padilla. He will try to complete a three point play. Doesn't do so. Scapping for the ball. It's still with the, with the Eagles. They, they are now trading just by six. Peña Redondo using the screen. Peña Redondo kick out. Sarmiento. 10 on the shot clock. Sarmiento forcing the shot. Flores with the rebound. Quickly. Marquez. To Cabrera. Referees are quick to... Uh, Separate uh, both parties after that double foul on Peña Redondo and Marquez. Okay, Datu will do the honors. Gives it to uh, Gallardo. Gallardo, air ball picked up by Flores. Flores, no. Gallardo tip in, still no good. And both teams could use that break uh, to cool down a bit. It has been uh, quite intense today. Gallardo, no. Flores, offensive rebound of Flores. Hook shot, still no go. And Pasay will walk the ball. Telpo. Look at the defense. Another turnover. Corner Sean to Datu. Datu is blocked. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Gallardo. And Gallardo with the basket, with the uh, foul. Of course. Gallardo for his free throw. First one is good, so one more for uh, Adrian Gallardo. Stands their lead a bit. Of course, uh, the uh, Eagles you know, refusing to quit. They uh, always fight back. So two free throws there for Adrian Gallardo. Sarmiento being handed by Marquez draws the double somebody's open Telpo but against the much smaller Cabrera Padilla could not receive it gives it to uh, Peña Redondo Sarmiento 7 to work with Sarmiento yes so good shot there Cornichon Cabrera Flores Flores with the reverse it's short uh, they were working for an alley-oop there but uh, Flores was not in the right position to receive it. Padilla, strong move, no good. Flores, stronger rebound. Hornashon, break away. Hornashon, oh, unselfish play. Hornashon, give it to Gallardo. So an assist for Hornashon and to Padilla. Loses it. They pick it up. Who has it? It's with Datu and Datu. Sails in for two points of his own. And we have a timeout called. Two minutes and 39 seconds left. A, a, a late explosion here by the uh, Our Lady of Fatima Phoenix. They now lead 35-26 and we'll be back. All right, back to the ball game. Our score, 36-26 in favor of the uh, Our Lady of Fatima Phoenix. To Hornashon for three. And Hornashon, he gets his three.
you know, what's a, a game by Romil Horner shot is not complete without a Horner shot three point shot. Defense is doing wonders for the Phoenix. Sarmiento. No, one man. He is the uh, leader. No, one of the acknowledged leaders of this uh, Pasay squad. Second one is good also for Sarmiento. It's a proverbial 10-point barrier uh, by the end of the uh, half. Gallardo, no. 15 to work with. Corner Sean says, easy guys. Okay, Cabrera, open. Air ball. It's with uh, Datu. But the shot clock reset. The shot clock reset. Okay, Horner Sean misses and Ramos is back in the ball game. To Sarmiento, back to Gio Ramos. Yes, both players are from Pampanga. And one guy in Pampanga right now who's probably watching this game is the twin brother of JJ, J.R. Malyari. Of course, JR used to play for the Phoenix last year, and this year he decided uh, to uh, concentrate on other stuff. Okay, Cabrera. Datu. And the loose ball is picked up. So again, focus now on Adrian Gallardo. He completes the three-point play. Lead is up to 11. The Eagles have to cut this to less to single digits by halftime. That's their goal. Elise. Ooh, Aquino was open. He did not see him. He had second thoughts. Double screen for Elise. Elise clear pass to the basket. No. And from the weak side, Aquino with his first two points of the game. So Aquino ending his silence with the offensive rebound and the three point play. And uh, they are missing Aquino's offense. Hopefully, Aquino will get going in the uh, second half. He misses the bonus. Hornashon. Datu. Cabrera. Hornashon to Maliali. Changes his mind. Back to Hornashon. Maliali for three. No. Ball tap. It's with the Eagles. Eagles are running. Ramos. Ramos firing. No. And Ramos draws the foul. For the Eagles, we have a Ramos and an Aquino. Two form, they are named after two former presidents. So uh, Gio Ramos makes his first free throw. And makes a second. So they are just behind by seven. And this is a good sign for the Eagles. They are uh, within striking distance. All they need to do, all they need is that push in the second half. Okay, great defensive stop. But Sarmiento throws the ball away. Horner Sean. And an easy shot. Two points for top by nine. Eagles now will go for the final say. Telpo having trouble. Gives it to uh, Ramos. Ramos will drive. Ramos! Count the basket at the buzzer for Gio Ramos. And Gio Ramos will shoot. A free throw. So our first half is not yet officially over. We have some. Uh, we still have one free throw for Gio Ramos. As uh, well, even as Ramos missed, but still, the Phoenix nursing a seven-point lead at the half, 43-36. And we'll be back with the second half of this ball game. You're watching the 14th Asku. Stay with us, Philippines. We'll be right back. Their goal now is to make the final four or the top four in the standings. Right now, the Phoenix, they are entrenched at third place. They have six wins and two losses. 
the uh, Eagles are in a tie with the Diliman Senators at two wins and six losses. They are in fifth and sixth place, so in a tie with the DCTI Senators. So a very uh, important game for both teams as uh, the Sen as the uh, Eagles they will try to uh, move closer to the top four, while the uh, Phoenix will try to catch up with the uh, leaders. And Gio Ramos opens the scoring account in the second half with that uh, three-point shot, his third of the game. Maliari, yes! So JJ Maliari, after a long rest on the bench in the uh, first half, is back. Well, uh, that's understandable because uh, his teammates were playing very well. Turnover though by Hornashon. De Vega is back also after a long rest. Moraga quickly to Hornashon. Hornashon, no. Rebound, De Vega. But Hornashon gets it back. And we have a uh, reach. Moraga from the corner, short. Picked up by Ramos. Ramos to Aquino. And Aquino, two-handed layup. Now that's old school. That is old school. Just like in the old days. Okay, Hornashon to Moraga. Hornashon scoops a pass to Marquez. Back to Hornashon. Oh! De Los Santos was all open. Nobody marked Hector De Los Santos. And the people in Guagua Pampanga like that. Hector is from Guagua. Okay, Erise. He has been quite silent today. Ramos. It has been Ramos who has been carrying the fight for the Eagles together with Eric Sarmiento. Double dribble, another turnover, putting a little uh, dent on the game of the e of the uh, Phoenix. So it's all up to the Eagles now to capitalize, as they are now trailing just by six. No, and a rebound by JJ, quickly to Marvin. Marvin will uh, fire a pass to Joseph Marquez, and Marquez with the easy two against the deep. Foul is given up by Joseph Marquez for Alden Telpo and Chano uh, Peña Redondo. No, they, they are not uh, in their usual self today. Over. Marquez against Lizardo. Maliari kick out Moraga. Moraga sees an opening and Moraga dishes off to J Hornishon fakes, goes closer to uh, Hector. Hector De Los Santos in traffic and De Los Santos traveled. But he got his feet entangled. De Vega receives it quickly to Aquino. Aquino against Maliari. Aquino, no, put back by De Vega. So lead now is down to six as De Los San uh, Hornashon stops and pops, give it to De Los Santos. De Los Santos, confused with the defense, Moraga is open. Moraga, dish off to Maliari. Everything but the shot there for Maliari. Telpo to Lizardo, bounce pass to the trading Aquino. And Aquino using his upper body strength to make those two points possible. Of course, you can see no, a very well-built physique, no, upper body physique of John Patrick Aquino. Maliari is open. Never leave JJ Maliari open. You'll pay dearly for it. And they should know that by now. This is the second year of JJ in the Naasku. De Vega to Aquino. Ball is loose. It's with De Los Santos. De Los Santos 
He gives it to the point guard. To be sure, Hornashon Malyali against De Vega. Malyali gives it to Hornashon. Hornashon to the open Malyali. Malyali dancing to the paint. No. Rebound Aquino. Pass is too strong. And it will go out in favor of the Phoenix. Four seconds left here in the third period. Jimenez now will check in at the next dead ball. Malyali from 15 feet, short. Ramos with the easy rebound. Quickly Ramos to Telpo. Telpo, hounded by De Los Santos. Reach and foul is called, let's see, it's on. Oh, we'll do the inbound. Ramos receives. Against Moraga. Using the De Vega screen. Telpo is open for three. Air ball, loose ball, Lizardo. Lizardo bounces the uh, Eagles, rather. Lizardo receives. He has to fire. No foul called. So it will be on. Uh, it will be a uh, Phoenix possession. Jimenez, kick out to Marquez. And Joseph Marquez. Hits it, hits it. So it's an eight-point lead again for uh, the Phoenix. Lizardo, and Lizardo gets the two points back. Hornashon. And two more points for Hornashon. You know, it's a seesaw battle. This will not benefit the uh, Eagles. They have to put some stops. They cannot afford to trade baskets with the Phoenix. And Eric Sarmiento will come in soon to uh, add firepower to the uh, Eagles. Manansala is blocked by De Los Santos. De Vega. No. Quickly now, Hornashon. Hornashon is hijacked on the way to the basket. Manansala to Telpo. Telpo challenging the defense. Back to Manansala. And that shot was poorly taken. Telpa will reset. Lizardo for three. No, air ball. Telpa, no. And Moraga picks up the rebound. And Moraga is from the Eagles as Flores will also return. This can continue from his good first period where he had uh, nine quick points. So uh, that is a season high for Lurvin Flores. Benji, air ball. Flores, driving, no good, who has it? It's with the Eagles, it's with Telpo, 2.30 left, Telpo, driving strong, no, rebound quickly, it goes to, uh, oh, a sportsman-like foul, to the abdomen. So Datu makes his first free throw, and after this, the, uh, e the uh, Phoenix will keep the ball. For the remaining two minutes and twenty-two and two minutes and twenty-two seconds left, they have possession after that unsportsmanlike foul by Gio Ramos on John Rubin Datu. Datu spinning kicks out to Paul John Pineda. Not yet for Pineda, but he will get his shot. It will eventually come. Telpo to Manansala, but they bring it up. It's with Benji Jimenez. And Rosales will orchestrate. They went top by 10. Jimenez to Pineda. To Datu. Datu sees the opening and Flores! Flores is in, is in double figures with 11. And great movement without the ball by Lurvin Flores. Sometimes it's not all athleticism in basketball. Ball tapped out. It will stay with the okay, Peña Redondo. And Peña Redondo, it has been a bad game so far for Jano Peña Redondo. He is, he is basically a non-factor today. Flores again! And Flores! Now one happy man right now is... Uh, Mr. Westy Simbulan, and you can I, I think he is smiling from ear to ear after that play by Flores. He is uh, the uncle 
of Lurvin. Okay, Rosales will take it casual three, and it casually sinks in. For uh, the uh, Phoenix. Ooh. Telpo quickly to Elise. Elise will fake. Elise back to Telpo to Sarmiento. Sarmiento has been silent for a long time. Much to the dismay of Pasay. And Sarmiento dribbles on the back. Okay. Jimenez now will receive. Rosales. Oh, I just got yes! Oh, no! No, what a way! What a way to end the third period on that exclamation point of a dunk by Lervin Flores. And our score after 30 minutes is 66 49 in favor of the Friday of Phoenix. Whew, we'll catch our breath and we'll return with the fourth period. You wouldn't want to miss that. You're watching the 14th NASCO. We'll be back, Philippines. And welcome back to the uh, ball game. And we are still recovering from that uh, catastrophic dunk by Lervin Flores to end the third period. And the Phoenix travel. Well, I think Lervin Flores, he was itching to dunk since August 12. And now he finally got this dunk. Flores, what will he do? It's with Pineda. Flores, and Pineda takes it himself. Tot will never betray him. All he needs is some confidence. It begins with these free throws. Of course, Paul John Pineda, a product of the Our Lady of Fatima Juniors program, eventually graduating to the senior team. And in the NASCO, when you say juniors, this is for all students who are 19 years of age and below. You know, it doesn't matter if you're a K-12 pupil or a college student. As long as you're 19 years of age and under, you can play in the juniors. Lucky bounce there for Pasay. 68-51, they close in. Rosales. Cross court Pineda. To Datu. To Flores again with the reverse. 15 points for Lurvin Flores. Kahansa is in the ball game. That's Jerome Kahansa. Solero is back after being settled with foul trouble. Solero. And Solero announces his presence with that uh, stab underneath. Jimenez. Oh, look at the uh, big man run the floor. Everybody move out. And count the basket for Aldin Telpo. Captain again. He should lead by example. Completing the three-point play. Datu waits for his teammates. Gives it to Flores. Flores! Oh, Flores in traffic. And Flores gets hit on it very well. Now, all he has to do is work on his uh, basketball fundamentals. I mean, you know, it's not every day that you can, you can recruit a 6'5", freakishly athletic young man. So all, it, all is left now for Coach Ralph Rivera and the, and the coaching staff is to refine his basketball basics. You know, his dribbling, his shooting, his passing, his uh, defense, his court, court sense, everything. So another turnover for the Eagles. Flores is asking for it, but Pineda will fire. No good. Telpo. To uh, Sarmiento. And Sarmiento with a steal. And Sarmiento just throws the ball away. The other players who have been playing heavy minutes in the past game some rest. Now as they prepare for the bigger games ahead. Telpo. What was that Telpo? Anyway, two points for the Eagles. A great read there. Interception by De Vega. They are behind by 12, the Eagles. Telpo. 
fence the baseline. And Tilpo stepped on the... Of course, this is round two and the stakes are higher than usual as the teams uh, make their final push for the uh, playoffs. Flores again. Flores this time dishes off to Gallardo and that's what we're talking about. See, give up the assist and the team scored two points instead of forcing the issue. So Gallardo completes the three-point play. So the unselfishness of Flores resulting in three points for Gallardo. Now, if he forced the issue, no, he could have been blocked and embarrassed. But he did the right thing. And from the weak side, it's still no good. Ball will stay with the white shirts of Pasay. Bounce pass to De Vega. De Vega, the hook shot is good. And De Vega, though, he has to work on that hook shot. Again, he has to take advantage of his size and length against his defenders. And they will try to uh, burn some clock, the Phoenix. 14 on the shot clock, Cruz using the uh, Flores screen, Cruz. Dish off to Gallardo underneath, too deep. Gallardo gets it back. Gallardo, no, Gallardo still has it. And Telpo finally grabs the rebound, but he loses it. Something right now. They have to whack quickly. All right. Solero is open for the unmolested uh, layup. A rare unmolested shot for the Eagles. And look at the defense. They force a turnover. Size of life here. Delpo with the conversion. Lead is down to nine. By Peña Redondo. Six straight points by the Eagles. Coach Ralph Rivera has seen enough. He's 75. No, his team is just ahead by 7. 70 for the Eagles. And another turnover. Let's see what they'll do. Oh! They almost lose it. Telpo says, easy, easy. The Vega screening. Telpo. To Peña Redondo. 9 on the shot clock. Cross court Ramos. And Ramos. So this is a gamble now. Oh, another turnover. See, J.J. Maliari is called off the bench. Well, Lerman Flores is playing very well, but you know, this is a gamble on the part of the coaching staff. Ramos fires, and Ramos will shoot three free throws as he was fouled attempting that triple. 4 and 45 left. His team is trailing by 7. Make that 6 now. So two more free throws for Gio Ramos. The Phoenix should not panic. Ooh, a big miss by Ramos. A little sigh of relief there for the Phoenix. Third free throw now for Ramos. And it's good. Two out of three for Gio. Lead is down to five. This is the closest that the Eagles has come to. Corner shot to Maliari. Maliari quickly to Marquez. Marquez being hounded to Horner Sean. Horner Sean to Maliari. Back to Rosales. Ten on the shot clock. Corner shot is open for three. No! Rebound! De Vega! Pasai with a golden chance to make it a one possession ball game. Peña Redondo, Telpo, Ramos for three, air ball, ball passes out, laugher, it seems nobody is laughing on both sides now, it's just a five point lead for the Phoenix, once to this highest 19. Steal. De Vega now receiving. De Vega 
to Ramos, faking a three. Goes closer, and Ramos makes the floater. Gio Ramos is the man of the hour for the Eagles. It's down to a three-point lead. Maliani and Maliari is pushed from behind me, James. JJ Maliari. Maliari eases the pressure a bit with that first conversion. One more coming for JJ. Two for two for JJ. Now it's back to a five point lead, a two possession uh, lead for uh, the Phoenix. Ramos being uh, pressured. Ramos causes the timeline. Ramos, ball by the way, it will stay with the Eagle. De Vega. Baseline. And De Vega, no choice. De Vega makes us first. The pressure is on. Who will blink first? De Vega with the miss. Moraga. To Marquez safely. And Soler. Marquez makes the first. Second free throw now for Marquez. It's a good two for two. 79-73. Still a two possession game. Solero. Quickly to Peña Redondo. You know, Peña Redondo has been silent, but if he uh, explodes now, it will be very meaningful for the Eagles. It's not how many you score, it's when you score that counts more. Lamos bobbles a bit, gets it back. Peña Redondo flicks it to Telpo. Forward the shot clock. Peña Redondo, one on the shot clock. And they were not aware of it. I'm of the uh, shot clock. Big inbound for the Phoenix. Maliari receiving. Steal by Telpo. Lead is down to four, but, oh, Gallardo bobbled. Oh, and Gallardo able to go recover his left. This will be big, yes. Seven is the lead now for the Phoenix. The Eagles refuse to lie down and die. You know, it doesn't matter if you're six and two, playing a two and six team. As Marquez deals, Marquez, no success there, but he will shoot free throws. Let's see. First one is good. This will boil down to a free throw shooting contest. Two for two for Marquez. A second left reminders. And you're watching the 14th NASCO. We'll be right back. Safe by any means. And with the way uh, both teams have been playing, there's a big chance for uh, the Pasay Eagles to stage a furious comeback. Let's see. It will begin with this play as the Barker announces last two minutes. And when you hear the last two minutes, it sends a special, uh, you know, it changes the complexion or the uh, intensity of the game. It's crunch time. Peña Redondo, no, and he's fouled. He will shoot free throws. At the line, Gianna Peña Redondo. And this is the time that we need Gianna Peña Redondo shooting. Oh no. What a time to miss for Gianna Peña Redondo. He says a prayer. Hopefully it's answered. Still no. So two misses, two big misses for Gianna Peña Redondo. And JJ 
Restores the 11 point lead. It's a double digit lead anew for the Phoenix. Peña Redondo. Still no good. Long bomb for Sarmiento is no good. And Moraga gets it. Oh, Pasay gets it back. Ramos for three. This will be big. Yes! Big shot by Gio Ramos. 78, 86 wings. They will not screw Anthony Servino here at the Makati Coliseum. Phoenix in possession. Maliari receiving to Marvin Moraga. They will work the clock. The clock is their friend. Marquez, 16 on the shot clock. Moraga, using the screen. Moraga, no, and uh, Marvin is fouled. Moraga, making his first free throw. So I guess uh, this free throw by Marvin should, uh, well, not yet. He spoke too soon. It's a miss. Nine point lead. Sarmiento misses. And a loose ball foul. Who's it against? Oh, it's on an eagle. It's on Adrian. Uh, it's on a Phoenix. It's on Adrian Gallardo pushing off a uh, eagle. So James Soledo now will uh, shoot two very important free throws. The rookie is in the pressure cooker. And the rookie succumbs to the pressure. Oh no, what a major development to the cause of the Eagles. Two misses. Seventy-eight, eighty-seven. Maliari hemmed in, gives it safely to Moraga. To Marquez. Shot clock is ten. Moraga. Shot clock five. Marquez. Forced to fire. Gallardo, no. Rebound, Eagles. Peña Redondo is fouled as he was giving off the uh, drop pass. So again, at the line, Jano Peña Redondo. And Peña Redondo. Add some points to his name. 10 seconds left. It's a one ball game for the Phoenix. And they'll, uh, let me see. All they have to do is just inbound the ball. Maliari seems to Maraga. And Maliari. To Moraga. And Marquez gets it. And our final score, 87 to 80. Our winners, the Our Lady of Fatima Phoenix, they now improve to seven wins and two losses. While the Eagles of Pasay, they, have, they now told a two win and seven loss card to tie the uh, Diliman Senators at 2-7. and seven. So, uh, on behalf of our broadcast team, we hope you enjoyed watching this ball game as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. Until the next NASU play date, this has been the man behind the mic, Anthony Servino, signing off at the Makati Coliseum. And again, until our next game, bye for now, Philippines. See ya!